The production, the, the design and the production for Il Tritico is going to be a little bit of a blend of classical and modern. Um, I like to call it modern traditionalism. <laughs> um, so it will have some traditional elements and parts and pieces to it in, with a modern point of view and a modern way of storytelling. Uh, each of the three pieces are very different in terms of time period. Uh, the first piece, Il Tabaro, setting it in, in the 19, 1920s, 1930s. Um, so it's a little bit more modern from when it was written. And when it was written, it was written for modern day at the time. It was a contemporary piece at the time that um, Puccini wrote it. The, the, the set and the, scene, the, the, the scenery and the setting for, for Tabarro is very mysterious and dark and shadowy, uh, dirty, gritty. Then for the setting for Sarangelica, it's a little bit more closer to the time it was written. However, with religious architecture and religious clothing, you know, with nuns, it's timeless. One of the, the biggest challenges for the whole evening for us in, is in Serangelica, and the miracle. So what I've brought to this piece, I have a bit, a bit of a background in magic and illusion. We're going to actually have the Virgin Mary appear in the sky. The whole set's going to fold away and peel away and reveal the Virgin Mary floating in the air, holding Angelica's child. And that's not written into the piece. That's something that Michael and I together have uh, come up with. So that's a bit of a challenge, you know, to, to try to blend in some of the illusion and magic world into the real world because magic is hard. <laughs> um, then for Janus Geeky, the setting there is medieval, but it's not realistic medieval. It's a little bit more fantasy but with some naturalism. So it's a blend of naturalism and fantasy. Um, things are a little bit out of skew or out of scale, uh, but it's a very funny piece. You know, it's, it's, it's the only piece that Puccini wrote as a comedy, um, but it's brilliant. It's very brilliant writing and, and brilliant singing. For me, to tell the story as a set designer, it's not so difficult the way the piece is written and what the requirements of the piece, it creates almost a shopping list for me of what I need to provide as the set designer. Then as an artist, I bring into that the texture and the style and, and the atmosphere on top of that. So it's not just this very mechanical thing.